In the Bible, there is a concept referred to as the unforgivable sin or blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. This is mentioned in different passages, including Mark 3.28, 30, and Matthew 12.31, 32. Jesus speaks about this sin in response to the Pharisees' accusation that he was casting out demons by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons. Jesus warns them that blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. The exact nature of this sin has been a topic of interpretation and discussion among scholars. However, it is generally understood to be the deliberate and willful rejection of the work and presence of the Holy Spirit, attributing his work to Satan or denying his power to bring about repentance and forgiveness. The significance of this sin lies in its ultimate rejection of God's grace and refusal to accept the means by which salvation is offered. It demonstrates a hardened and unrepentant heart, closing oneself off from the conviction and leading of the Holy Spirit. It is important to note that this sin is not an accidental or unintentional offense. It is a deliberate and conscious choice to deny the work and power of the Holy Spirit despite knowing the truth. It is a persistent and hardened state of heart that resists God's mercy and grace. However, it is crucial to remember that God's grace is vast and his forgiveness is available to all who genuinely seek it. The fact that one may fear having committed the unforgivable sin is a strong indication that they have not committed it, as a repentant heart shows a desire for reconciliation with God. Therefore, it is important for believers to continually seek God's forgiveness, remain open to the work of the Holy Spirit, and trust in His mercy and grace. God's desire is for repentance and reconciliation, and he stands ready to forgive those who genuinely turn to him in faith and humility. This is the end of this episode. Follow for more content.